Wall of Water, Lawsuits Detail Deadly Navy Collision. New Orleans, AP, survivors and descendants of those killed when a container ship collided with a U.S. Navy destroyer off Japan's coast are suing the ship's Japanese charterer, according to a lawsuit filed Monday that details the survivors' scramble for safety as water rushed in. In dramatic detail, the lawsuit against Tokyo-based Nightline lays out how survivors of the collision saw water rushing at them as they scrambled for the exits and, in some cases, had to swim for their lives. Seven U.S. sailors were killed in the collision that happened June 17, 2017, as the two ships were trying to merge into heavy traffic. An underwater gash sent water flooding into two sleeping compartments at a time when most of the nearly 300 sailors on board would have been sleeping. Sailor Jackson Shrimshaw was one of the last to make it out of the sleeping quarters alive, according to the lawsuit. He recalled a wall of water coming at him as he tried to make it to the door, scuttle in Navy parlance. He remembers a locker falling over onto him and a sailor pushing him out from under it. By the time he reached the portside scuttle, he was completely submerged. Plaintiff Shrimshaw stuck his hand up out of the water through the scuttle, and was pulled to safety, the lawsuit said. The lawsuits allege personnel aboard the ACX Crystal failed to follow procedures intended to warn their own crew and nearby ships of impending danger. For example, the lawsuit says it wasn't until one minute before the collision that ACX Crystal operators took the ship off autopilot and tried to evade a collision. The ACX Crystal also failed to sound any short blasts to alert the USS Fitzgerald of its position, the lawsuit alleges. In a statement, David Skloss, a lawyer for the plaintiffs, said that the collision was entirely avoidable. The negligent and reckless conduct of the Crystal's crew led to the horrific drowning deaths of seven young Navy sailors. These brave young men leave behind children, parents, spouses, and siblings who continue to try to make sense of the senseless, Skloss said. A request for comment submitted on the company's website was not immediately returned. The two lawsuits were filed Monday in federal court in Louisiana on behalf of relatives of the seven dead sailors and 40 sailors who survived as well as some family members of the survivors. The lawsuit is asking in excess of $287 million. The lawsuit says Nightline had principal responsibility for the navigation and or operation of the ACX Crystal. The lawsuit laid out the fear and panic likely experienced by the seven sailors who died as water flooded into the sleeping compartment. None of the decedent sailors were killed by the initial impact of the collision. On the contrary, all decedent sailors suffered from a significant for more on this story, visit the news article link.